I'm going to join us with Just Commentary. So we're going to check out a video awesome from Thai Street Food, of course, Waterfire Party, Sankarang Festival 2018, Bangkok, Thailand, of course. This one coming from Mac Queen, of course, guys. You guys requested it. Even before the video play, I can see the famous famous shit right now that was in Thailand or still in Thailand the Hawaiian shit and I mean you guys are just loving it and I love the colors too it's so bright I love it you know a bit of, bit of tropical and a bit of American you know I mean Hawaii of course thank you very much for your questions video guys I am I read a lot on that um, festival the Sak Songkran festival water festival and there are a lot of things that are happening you know, or happening there um, that you know persons are concerned about and I'm also concerned about it and of course Maybe for the video I'll talk about it, um, but nonetheless, this is something that can draw a lot of foreigners to Thailand. And I think we just need to realize these are opportunities to always promote the country. New festivals and this sort of things. And it's, it's a nice one, I mean, a water festival. And there are some, con I will talk about the concerns. I know that concerns about people, touch, young ladies being touched inappropriately and like sexual harassment. And then some persons were against the idea because wasting water and so on. Um, but let's go ahead and check it out to see what's going to happen there. Of course, McQueen is producing this video. It is a video belonging to McQueen. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's check this one out. Ooh, the shirt, the shirt, boy, the nice shirt. Is he going to buy this shirt? McQueen is going to buy the shirt. He's going to put on the shirt. Ooh. This is an awesome request you guys made. Wow, I really broke a sweat putting on my Songkran shirt. It is <laughs> Hey, Mark, good to see Mark again. Songkran in Thailand is when friends and family come together to celebrate, when you have a chance to bless Yo. your elders and loved ones. You see how the purpose behind you, too? you have a chance to have the biggest water fight in the world. <laughs> Here's the plan. It's April 13th. This is the first day of Songkran, and I'm going to take you on awesome. a nice street food tour. Water yes! Miss that food, We're street gonna food. sample whatever's available. We're gonna get wet. Wow. And I'm gonna share <laughs> it all with you in this video. We're on our way now. <laughs> wow. Quick little bonus here. I didn't know my mother in law was cooking, but she made some Ooh. food. It's time she to have some breakfast. Cooked. My mother in law. Leave. Got some fried fish. Got some <laughs> That's the rice. breakfast. The sauce is what? Shallots and garlic under there. And wow. And there's also Ding Liang. Max said that is a breakfast do. before they leave. I think that was That's breakfast. like a lunch. The other day she put some Kai Mo Dang which are wow. uh, red ant eggs in there, the larva of the ants, and what? they are incredibly delicious. <laughs> Look at everything! To this bite. Wow, that's Look a nice that fish. Fried fish. Mm. Yes. Ah, boy. And have some rice with that. Oh! I'm telling you, I'm surprised Mark that's isn't delicious. like the huge. Fried crispy fish. The rice. He's eating There's so much and so many varieties. But then again, it's healthy yeah, food, I would say. That's a healthy meal. You can eat a lot of that. That's a that's an extremely healthy again, yeah, meal. Those, those kind of dang, those the greens. Oh, there's a good wow. little ant nugget right there. <laughs> and that's a big spoon. Mm. I know, Mark. I know. It's awesome. Of all of those herbs and vegetables, <laughs> the little red ant eggs. They they kind of burst wow. like really creamy little pop sensation. Oh, he's getting me hungry now. <laughs> Awesome. We're fully prepared now. We're jumping out of the BTS wow. at Saladang Station. This is where the Thai street food water fight begins. Oh boy. And welcome <laughs> to Silom. I remember I got a video request when it just started. I'm like, what? Oh, wow, There's a festival uh, where you get it, you have the water going on your basin. Oh, you know, when I'm going to Thailand, I need to come at that time. <laughs> oh, that's ice water. Oh, ice <laughs> water is cool. Oh, you put ice into the water to spray you, so it's like a jolt, it's like a shock of water. Oh, oh boy. That's cool. <laughs> they must get the, the, they must invent a wiper for the cameras, you know, something that will clean the screen. That would be awesome. Creativity, the innovation right there. Within five <laughs> minutes, I'm already soaked. Oh. <laughs> Saladang, this is Silom, this is the downtown, this is the financial wow. district of Bangkok. But now this is just a hole. Oh, <laughs> You're gonna get wet. There's no way you're having a good now conversation it's just there. A complete water park zone. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't come there. If I'm coming there, I'm having my goggles, I'm blocking my ears full of water. Okay. You cannot come there and let's get to the road. Gonna be a tight street <laughs> water fight. I think the mic, the, the mic here, it's, it's, the water maybe went on it. Soaked. 
it's time to start eating. I think this yeah. is the prime Woo, opportunity to introduce you to. I'm pretty sure it's the number one Songkran food. Songkran. Ooh. The eggs. I most a lot, not maybe most, but a lot of the food I try Thailand always include eggs. <laughs> wow. Look here at that. What? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> yeah, man. It's so hilarious, but it's part of the Songkran spirit. People, people are, wow. are willing to share. How did they get that to be so, so friendly? Uh, that's part of the, the Thai culture that you will love. Yeah, it Thai, like naturally happy and welcoming like, people. It's actually floating in the oil. In the oil, I've yeah. Seen a single, I need, just one egg. Yeah, just one egg. <laughs> one egg. <laughs> one egg. You could probably pop it like bubble wrap. During Songkran, if you're with your family, you might have a special meal. Oh, I need to put a matter of lights. I'm dark. Sort of lights. Dish that you have to eat during Thai New Year. It's just about enjoying food. Looking like it's night time. The solar light skin in hand. Water fighting. And wow. This, by all means, mm. Is that rice also? Rice white rice? With a fried egg omelet. Is, wow. it's, it's I must the try this out there. I will try it out. The white rice and egg. Just look at the interior of that egg. I must try that out. And the crunchy goldenness of it. Wow. It looks very fulfilling. Like it will really give you a good meal. It really fill up your stomach yep. there. That's like a, a jolt of saltiness that wow. will delight your tongue. When you're walking around, and what is that meat? Is that chicken? In the hot sun, he graciously hooked us up with some mutad, which is fried pork. I'm oh, gonna fried get pork, okay. Some other wow. kaijiao, some of that egg with a piece egg of the fried white pork. rice. The egg don't wanna go! The egg don't <laughs> Ooh! Mm -mm -mm, he was boy. making the omelets right here, but he also had some pad ka pao mo. Great wow. lunch snack for Songkran. Nice! Hmm. Comfort <laughs> food of Thailand right here. Awesome! That's good. Oh, all oh, those bamboo shoots. Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ate it. <laughs> nice. Ying, how's that kao kai Ying, would you say that the number one food for Songkran is a kao kai Yeah. Kao kai jiao. Yes. And the, the, the Hawaiian shit, everyone. And make sure that, you hydrate wow. yourself during, Definitely. during Songkran. Which is ironic that you have to hydrate yourself. I mean, but the thing that our skin don't take really in water. It really is the hottest time of the year. Wow, so that's right, the best time to have the festival, I suppose, like, being the hottest time of the year. Cooler full of, wow. Up chunks of icebergs in that water. And then you have to cold water in the guns? What? Wow. You got in his suit. <laughs> It's like he just came out from the office and it's like, ah, end of day, I'm gonna enjoy. About some kind is a water I'm gonna enjoy the sun gun. <laughs> the world's biggest water fight. I can Actually, imagine so. Actually, is really about family. And it's about uh, the blessing of loved ones and especially elders. And so most wow. Thais, what they will do during Song Khan is they'll, uh, they'll visit their elders, their grandparents, and they'll pour water over their hands. Wow. But that has turned into <laughs> that has turned into an all-out water fight. Nice. So you see it have a meaning, it have a story originally behind it. And we've got to realize that most of this festival have a story. And of course, again, creativity. Creativity started out as just a blessing part, and then hey, it's booming to something extraordinary, attracting so many foreigners to Thailand, so many economical activities. Wow, what is that? Oh, that looks sort of delicious. What is that? I miss what you're saying there. This is the next perfect salty sometimes street food snack. He said there's a mixture of pork with rice as well. For the two US. Uh, wow, that's nice. Boy, I tell you, if I wanted to add that, you immediately have to chase it with a chili, a piece of ginger, and some cabbage. I like wow. to go all at once. Nice. And that is the Psychok Isan entire mouthful experience. It's very wow. fatty, so fatty that it's creamy. And nice. then you've got the, it has a little bit of a sour component because it's. 
like it slightly wow. ferments, then it's smoky because it grills. Yeesh! And then the, hey. the, the part that makes it is that extra chili and that ginger for me. Oh, wow. No, yo, I am telling you. I'm going to be so... To I'm going to get so fat there. Road, which is another the food is just so amazing. That's one of the things I love so much about Thailand. The food. The food! Oh, and Joel picked up some jackfruit, by the way. Ah, nice. Last stop. Thanks, man. This looks like some look like Joel. <laughs> Well, like, they are supposed to be family. Not family, they're like same kind of plants. Jackfruit is fantastic. To me, it has like an overripe banana taste. Wow. And of course, it's got the. That's it. Woo! That's a lot of people. <laughs> you get it dust ever you pass it. <laughs> Yo! This is something else! <laughs> You cannot come there saying you don't want to get wet. Stay at your home, stay inside. Stay inside until I'm gonna have my ears blocked and the girl goes up through. That is nice. Why is that on the face there? Is that the cooling powder? Wow! No, that's a big chunk of food. What the heck is that? Is that the same thing they are hanging up? Whoa! Must, must, that's a lot of food. She dishes the curry up over kanam jean, which are the rice noodles. It is that cooling like powder there the air, on, the, on is, their face? Uh, finger root. It's kind of similar to. I remember reacting to the video with the cooling powder. That was awesome. Uh, I want to try this one out for sure. The cooling tea. powder. So the noodles are here, and they've served it soup style. Um, wow. This one is with the coconut milk. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, you get it's a bit of a thicker. There might be, there might be fish. Is there fish in the broth too? What is that thing? Is that eggs? There's fish, uh, ground up fish meat, and then the fish balls. I gotta oh, fish balls, try first okay. before seasoning. Wow. Well, the powder is coming off. You can really <laughs> smell. You can really taste the, the that finger root in there. The, oh, that's good. And then it has a little bit of a fishiness. And it's wow. from the coconut milk. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is good. How's yours? And of course, you have to try spice. I love the soup. That and is spice. Spoon in the chili. So I think, a chili! I think, yeah, I think you're Mark, supposed to just and it's it. chili! My choice is the bainang rak, which is the lemon what? basil. What? I can, I don't like chili. It's so oh. this. This is really To me, hot pepper takes away the joy of my food. Stir this up with that chili, with the lemon basil. Okay, awesome. that's, there, there's still a lot of vegetables to eat too, but, but uh, well, I'll start with this for now. Nice. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, I love the shit Mac is wearing, honestly. I love it. This is called Pakashet, which is water mimosa. Is that looking like the plants? You have a plant like that. When you touch it, it closes. Like I don't know if you have that like in Thailand. Like it looks like it. And it's delicious. Wow. That was a great bowl of kanam jean. Oh, wow. man. That's a and big, with that big chili, thing with of that food, lemon man. Basil, that was delicious. That, that just sort of slides down with flavor. We're heading back into the wet zone. Hi, water, water, water. This is what we waited for. How long does this festival like last for, guys? A week? Oh, right in the air. I tell you, I'm blocking my ear. Look at the guy watching my. Kind of everyone just kind of like marching along, like a like a like a marching army. Wow. <laughs> now you see something like that. Don't it create a lot of like flu, like the cough and the flu? I like literally. I mean, I can just see me being there, and the next day I'm like, oh, <coughs> I have to be like, <laughs> oh, Richard, because <laughs> all that water, I must get the flu. I can see it already. <laughs> yeah, you see, I told you they need something on. What? <laughs> wow. 
Hey, I love that 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 one. Thailand have one of the most creative things. Look at how that that um the ketchup and the mustard and the mayo is coming up from that six thingy bottle. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you, get you cannot come in the, in the walk in and that's where to get water with you. You will get wet. There's no way you don't come, you'll get wet, man. You come in the expect to get wet. Just don't wet the vendors, eh? Because they, they heat all along. So they shouldn't get water on them because that can make you very sick. What? Is that like he had a meal like that? And until the young lady, the vendor had to leave and run and buy another tin of milk. I remember something like We're heading out of Pausan Road. It is wow. incredibly hectic. It is a lot of fun. Uh, it's a place yeah. you can come for some time. If you I just saw something action, there, the plastic. Uh, like a, a crazy amount of action, non-stop action. On our way out, we have stopped oh for... Oh, God! He's, he's yeah, it's it's in Thailand. He's making a variety Look at that. Of Yo! And drinks. There are so uh, many so things I'm seeing from the videos of Mark Wayne, which is like innovative. The plastic to hold the glass. This is like a first oh, yeah. to me. That hits the spot when it's hot like this. Oh, it's Thailand is the land of innovations and creativity. Of tea. Okay, it's, it, to me, it kind of tastes like melted ice cream. He sprinkles wow. in quite a lot of condensed milk, so it has that like extreme nice. creaminess to it. So what? Oh gosh. <laughs> That is so nice. We come to the end of this Thai street food Songkran water Woo! fight ultimate episode. Uh, it's been a long <laughs> he went fun. back. Songkran, it's really about spending hey. time with friends and family. Yeah, I think and it's a very nice festival. Songkran, honestly, it can be a fantastic I think it's a good to time to attract to foreign investors, um, tourists, of course. It's it's a lot of quick food, especially in these areas, the busy areas where they water fight. You'll find a lot of quick, easy food, but it's definitely tasty and. It's been a it's been a great time. Wow. So I just want to end this video by saying an extremely happy Thai New Year. Happy Songkran Sawadee Bimai. Thanks again for watching. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to Mac guys. Of course the link for this video will be below. Check it out. It's original video. Goodbye from Bangkok. Awesome. See you on the next video. Great video. Of course, thank you very much for requesting this awesome video, guys. I've got some things to say quickly about um what I understood. I understood that um, one of the things they are greatly concerned about uh, young ladies being sexually harassed and then they are blaming them for the dressing. Irrespective of how someone dress, you have to respect them. They didn't say to touch them. Their dressing can suddenly imply to you that they want to be touched or harassed. You know what I mean? Or even if they are dressed properly or bad, you have to respect them as human beings and there is no need to be harassing girls or boys when they're enjoying them when they're enjoying themselves you will come here to have a good time with water festival that's what it is it is not some sort of you know uh, lustful sort of thing it's a place where people come and enjoy themselves and you have to respect how they dress i mean it's water so most likely they're gonna dress like you know expose a lot of body meaning when they get wet it will dry fast because i just like that guy the suit with the blue suit the shitting his pants it was kind of weird it looked like he came from his office but you can expect some person will be there in the bath with the boxers um uh, clothing, clothing where most of their bodies isn't covered because of water festival it's almost like going on the beach and I think persons have to respect that and you don't have to touch somebody because they're dressed to your point and you find they're looking attractive to touch them no that is wrong and do not allow that to affect such a good opportunity for Thailand and another thing is also the water um, person saying that the water has been wasted technically the water has not been wasted the purpose of the water there is to have the water fights if you say the water has been wasted, then therefore we should try our best to create a new thing and get rid of the entire thing of a toilet, get rid of the entire thing of washing plates, washing clothes, maybe even get rid of clothes because every time we have to wash clothes, waste the water, put the clothes on us, dirty it again, wash clothes, waste the water. Is that wasting? No, it's not wasting. The purpose of the water at that time is to wash the clothes. The purpose of the water in the toilet is to flush. The purpose of the water there is to enjoy, to have the water fight and so on and so forth. You cannot affect, allow something that's happening way over yonder to affect a time or opportunity or economic growth now. If it is that they were taking the water from a place where they have little to no water and they are depriving them of water to enjoy that, I can say, well, you need to stop that. But if there's water is available in the river to have the water festival, if the water is available in the system to have the water festival, enjoy it. That's I don't, persons like to take another problem take something that was happening somewhere and have it as a reason not to do something here 
if the point you have the water available to have a water festival to create opportunity economic opportunities the food the clothing the, the um you know moving up people from one country or another to come to this festival that is an opportunity you can't allow someone who have no water all the way in another country to say don't have this water festival because there's some another country who don't have the water you want to know how to fix it then create a new opportunity where you could ship water to that country but you don't say to don't have that activity or cancel that economic activity because someone else don't have water create a new opportunity to get them water that's what i think so that's two things i had to talk about two things i noticed that persons were basically saying why they what they don't like about the festival or basically saying the festival should not happen or trying to put a negativity on it saying that they are using a lot of water whereas in a place in this country where they don't have water, children are thirsty. That is true, children are thirsty, but there's the opportunity. Rather than saying, hey, you're wasting the water, why don't you say, I'm going to create a new opportunity to get water to that child who's in need of water, rather than trying to blame or prevent someone from growing or place from developing, you know what I mean? And of honor, in reference to the sexual harassment, persons need to learn to respect persons. They are there, they dress how they dress, that is their body. They didn't sit to touch them, don't touch them. That is the fact that the matter. You have the responsibility to know what to do with your hands and your hands have to stay to yourself. Don't go touching persons they don't want to be touched. Don't put a negativity on an awesome economical activity for Thailand. Okay? Thank you very much for your questions in this video, guys. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.